Good morning, fellow YouTubers. Uh, this is Joseph Owens with Fat Bass Custom Baits. How you doing? Hey, listen, I wanted to get back to you guys. It's uh, early May 2021. Uh, first off, I sure hope uh, you guys did better than I did in uh, the elk draw this year. Uh, for me, uh, Wyoming, uh, well, it's we're, we're still waiting on Wyoming to see what happens there. But uh, Arizona, no tag. Uh, New Mexico, no tag. Limited draw area in, uh, in uh, Idaho, no tag. Uh, Nevada, no tag. Uh, Utah, no tag. So uh, we're going to be uh, going to either uh, Wyoming or Colorado, and that's yet to be determined. I wanted to get back with you guys this morning. Uh, some of you guys had asked me to do a follow-up uh, review on the Kuyu Summit Star One Person Ultra White Backpacking Tent. And what I thought would be the best way to do this is I wanted to set the tent up for you. Uh, and, and kind of show you exactly the sleeping system that I have and why I have this. Um, as most of you know, uh, all my hunts are backpacking hunts. I pack in uh, anywhere from four to 10 miles, uh, usually no more than six or eight miles if I'm by myself. That's, uh, that's brutal back breaking uh, labor on packing an elk out. But uh, let me show you uh, the, the tent and what I got first off. Uh, one thing that I did when I first uh, bought uh, these Kuyu tents, and, and I recommend this with any ultralight tent, uh, the reality is that the little nylon stuff sacks they come uh, with are pretty much garbage. So you see this little Kuyu Ultra White bag here. This is what I fold up and put my tent in. It's got little uh, snaps here that snap on top of uh, the uh, Kuyu 3600 Pro Pack. Works really well. And then uh, here is uh, my uh, Western Mountaineering uh, uh, Alpine Light uh, Mummy Bag. Super, super good bag. If you're looking for a top quality goose down bag, uh, this uh, bag here, it's a six foot six bag, weighs one pound, 15 ounces, has a temperature range, I believe, of 15, but uh, archery elk season, anywhere, September, October, August, it's, it's gonna keep you warm, just an outstanding, outstanding bag. I, I like to keep it uh, in this bag. Uh, I don't like to, uh, to keep it here in the compression sack, you know, until I put it in the pack, it takes some of the loft out of it. But on this uh, Kuyu Summit Star One Person Ultra Light Backpacking Tent, as you can see, uh, you get uh, this uh, vapor liner here, or some people call them a footprint. And then this is, this is uh, let's just kind of walk around the tent and I'll kind of show you the tent itself. Um, uh, that the you uh, uh, as you can see you got like eight or ten different uh, line ties there very good uh, tent as far as the uh, physical design of the tent repels water real good I strongly recommend you can see the co uh, coat of seam seal that I put on there last year when I first got the tent makes a huge difference this here's a little uh, snap open vent just closes like that uh, folds down then you just snap this back in place like that gives you vent there it helps on some of the condensation you know on that <laughs> Let's touch on something here real quick. You need to understand that with any ultralight backpacking tent, this is a single wall tent. It is not a canvas wall tent and it's not a four season uh, double wall tent that's meant to repel snow. So if you buy it with uh, that intent, you're gonna be really disappointed. If you buy it knowing that it's a single wall tent. You will deal with some condensation issues. Honestly, I've never had them, but but I think that's uh, I think it's probably good, and and I think that's a fair assessment. At some point, you might may, you may have a few condensation issues. I personally love this tent. It's my favorite tent. Um, my backpacking hunts are, are about having lightweight, good quality, functional gear. I've had this tent in rain, snow, and hell. Never ever had a problem. Now you can see here, this is a pole that comes with it, a very, very light pole. But uh, if you didn't want to take this and you wanted to reduce a little more weight, you could take this out and you could use one of your trekking sticks here. Now let's open up the door here. You see it just kind of slides like this. Okay, you open up the door. Now, and then you got a little pole right here. This pole here inserts right here, comes down to the bottom. One thing, let me give you a really strong recommendation. Don't buy this tent and take it out in the woods and try to set it up the first time. If you do, you're probably gonna jump off a cliff somewhere because it's not the easiest tent to set up. But once you get the hang of it, uh, what I did is on the underside, I actually uh, marked numbers one, two, and three. That tells me when I lay this on the ground, all I have to do is look on the underside and I see one, two, and three. That tells me that's where the foot of the tent goes. Then on the uh, inside here, I got a D for door, and then up here on the top, I got a T for, for top, and that kind of allows me to, to set it up, and, and you'll understand the value of that once you try to set this tent up. But what I, what I do, um, 
when it when it comes to the actual sleep and as you can see it's not a huge tent it's it's designed for sleeping it's designed to protect you it's designed to keep you warm it's a very functional tent it repels water snow moisture just a great tent these are things that i highly recommend for for many years i uh you know i would cut every single ounce but i'm telling you now in my mid 50s i think i've gotten a lot smarter this is a pillow here. Uh, this is made by Climate. I believe they're out of Centerville, Utah, and it's worth its weight. No, this thing weighs, believe it or not, this, and this is a very, very comfortable pillow. This thing weighs like two and a half ounces. And then here, this weighs, I think, four, uh, 15 ounces. It weighs a pound. And this is an insulated static V-Lite Climate bed pad, uh, also made by the same company out of Centerville, Utah. Now, if you notice here on the sides, the ribs are just a little bit higher. So uh, unlike some of the ultralight, uh, you know, eight, 10 ounce pads, you don't have to worry about sliding off. This thing, I, I love these baffles in here. It, it reminds me of sleeping on our pillow top mattress back home. It's very, very comfortable, keep you warm, protect you from the elements. And, uh, you know, just, uh, did just kind of show you here. Let's uh, throw the old uh, Western Mountaineering bag in here and kind of just, you know, give you an idea exactly what you're looking at, you know, when, when, it, when it comes bedtime. And, uh, and there you have it. Now, what I would typically do, let's, let's say that I'm actually out in the woods and I'm on my elk country, got a, a little pouch here. What I would normally do is I'll put, you know, some wet wipes here maybe, a uh, little face paint. Uh, if you're in an area that's got grizzlies, you want to keep either a handgun or some bear spray there close to you. Uh, that's a sign, and obviously should go without saying, but let me say it anyway. If you're in country that has grizzly bears, never, ever, ever go to bed with food in your tent. That's another story that I will share with you sometime. This is kind of a cool little uh, thing here where this pole goes down through here, protects the tent, goes right through there, right to the ground. And then uh, here you go. Let's uh, we'll undo this and I'll kind of zip down the door and show you what it is. And it's just, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory here. You just zip it down like this. And then hook your, uh, hook your hook out here. And uh, then you can adjust the tension right there on your door. Uh, but yeah, you know, now let's open this back up. I want to show you something else here too. And this is important. If you're out in the woods by yourself, you know, it's, 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 it's not a big area, but the bottom line is it's a big enough area. Uh, the Pro 3600 pack that I use, I can put that pack right here, keep it warm, keep it dry, keep it out of the elements. And then right here, you know, I, I might put, uh, you know, maybe maybe my boots or maybe my little, uh, uh, you know, pack stove in a, in a freeze-dried uh, meal or maybe some instant oatmeal for breakfast. But I just kind of wanted to give you a, a, a perspective on this tent and why I like it. Now, let me tell you the most important thing about all this. I weighed this stuff this morning because I wanted to give you a precise weight. With my Western Mountaineering Alpine Light 6 foot 6 bag, the complete tent, including the stakes, including the uh, footprint, um, um, uh, the whole shoot match, just like you see, and also including uh, the bed pad and the pillow inside, you're talking a total combined weight of those four items of five pounds and four ounces. Uh, to me, that's very, very light. This tent, as it comes with the poles and everything, uh, on my scale showed exactly two pounds. The uh, Western Mountaineering uh, six foot six uh, Alpine light bag weighs one pounds, 15 ounces. That puts you at three pounds, 15 ounces, basically four pounds. Then you have a pound for the bed pad, and you have two and a half ounces for the uh, for the little pillow there. Uh, again, you do what you want, but me myself, uh, these are invaluable, and this is a whole lot better uh, to store your tent and your stakes in than uh, the bags that come with these ultra light tents. It doesn't matter what brand of tent you buy either. I mean, the reality is these are cheap little silicon nylon bags that these tents are packed in. Uh, I don't think I've, I've ever had a small tent uh, where the bag hasn't ripped and tore. So what I do when I buy these tents, I just, I just throw the little storage bag that it comes in away, put the stuff in here. It's durable, it's gonna last. You can put it in a gallon freeze bag uh, in here if you want to. Snap it, these snaps here, just, you know, open up like that and you just snap uh, two of them or four of them to the side of the top of your pack. And uh, you got everything there handy, ready to go. And uh, hey, I uh, hope this review helped you. If you're looking for a great ultralight backpacking tent that will withstand the elements and do you a great job, uh, they make it in two different colors. They got kind of an orange color, but I kind of like uh, the more natural color. And uh, uh, this tent served me very well. I look forward to getting uh, a lot of use out of it. And uh, this September, we'll, uh, depending on, uh, 
what happens in the draw in the next few weeks. We're either going to be uh, in a beautiful area in uh, Wyoming chasing some big bulls, or I'm going to be uh, with half of the state of Texas and California probably hunting in Colorado trying to get an elk. But uh, God bless you guys, and uh, uh, thank you for uh, checking out the video, and, uh, and I hope you have a wonderful day today. GoPro, stop recording.